Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar on PRISM for Nutrition Placement Schedule. Today's presenter is Aditya Kumar, who is our product manager here at Exact. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, please add your questions in the questions box. We will also be pausing periodically to ensure your questions are answered. Under the handout section, you will be able to download today's presentation so you can keep it for your future reference. This webinar is going to be recorded and will be shared with you through an email one hour after the webinar and we will also upload it on our YouTube channel. We want to give everyone a few more minutes to get logged in to get their audio sorted. So we will be back with you in just a few moments. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Aditya, are you ready? Yes. Hi, Gandhi. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, then Aditya, take it away. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining the session. So my name is Aditya, and I uh, look after the placement module in Exact Prism. Along with me, uh, my senior product manager is joining, uh, and he will be happy to take any questions that you might be posting after the uh, demo as well. So let's start and see what the agenda for today. So today we will be presenting um, how exactly placement schedule works in PRISM. Uh, we'll be introducing the concept of placement groups. Uh, we'll be showing how uh, rotations work, and then we will also be search, uh, making a placement uh, and showing how uh, no students can be placed across various rotations uh, through PRISM. Uh, uh, after that, we will also be uh, showing some of the designs that we have uh, we have created for future releases regarding how uh, you know a placement can be made across non-consecutive placement dates and how it can be shown on a calendar view as well. Uh, and then post that, we will be taking up uh, so a few Q and A sections. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, that that we'll be happy to clarify. Uh, I'll be switching between the presentation as well as. Uh, my uh, sample demo screen so that you can go you can see the flow of how placement schedules work in exact prism. Okay, so let's start uh, looking at the at the ADA system. So this is this is the launch page or the landing page of of uh, of placements. Here, all the course offerings that are you that require placements for a particular program are listed down. Uh, and a user can choose either to create placements for a single course offering, or he can choose to create a set of similar course offerings and then go ahead and, uh, and place the student uh, accordingly. Uh, so we have given both the options. Uh, however, uh, many of our schools, many of our programs prefer to create placement groups because it helps them to better manage uh, their coursework. Some of the uh, schools prefer to uh, create placement groups via the cohort a uh, group of cohort of students who are passing out, let's say, in a class of 2026 or let's say in class of 2025. Uh, some uh, would prefer to manage it as per the academic year. So let's suppose it is 2023. So they may want to create all the course offerings that are being uh, offered in 2023 as a placement group. Some would further want to drill down and, uh, you know, want to create placement groups uh, as per uh, the, the, the terms uh, that are offered in an academic year, let's say. Uh, it's a spring term or a fall term. So all the course offerings that are, are being offered within that could be, you know, uh, grouped into one placement group and then uh, placements could be made accordingly for those uh, course offerings. I'll now start showing um, how we can create a placement group uh, and what are the criteria for, you know, creating a placement group. So let's take an example wherein um, a school wants to create uh, a placement group for all the spring course. Uh, spring courses that he was he or she wishes to manage uh, in the system. So uh, in this screen, once you click, uh, click on the add group button, this particular drawer opens up. Uh, uh, an admin can give whatever name he, he wishes to give. So let's suppose I say it's all the spring courses that I want to manage together. 
I can give a small round of description as to why uh, I am creating this group. This uh, group is to manage all the spring courses, placement of all this. All the spring courses. Uh, and then he can choose next. Here he will get a, lot, uh, a set of options from which he can, you know, basically uh, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, selection criteria on which he can, you know, uh, choose the course offerings. And as in when he selects those um, uh, these filters, the course offering starts appearing in the right bar in the table, and and so the user can select uh, all those course offerings which he wants to add in the group, and then he can create the placement group. So let's suppose uh, so since the user wants to create um a course a placement group with all the spring courses he would go ahead and uh, click on the term and then he can go ahead and search it so you could get the list of all the courses for um, which which are being offered in the term spring and he can go ahead and select those uh, place uh, course offerings and then he can click on next he can also choose to uh, select for what all groups or what all cohorts he wishes to uh, you know, create this particular course offering. So he may be choosing it for uh, another for uh, for the two cohorts or for the three cohorts. He may also choose for which all professional years he wishes to uh, go ahead and uh, choose the course offerings on which all the academic years for which he wishes to uh, select those course offerings. Uh, he may also choose uh, to search the courses based on the course number or course name, uh, and and all those uh, permutations and combinations, the list which comes up is something that the uh, admin can select from and then he can go ahead and click on next in the preview screen he can uh, go ahead and review all the course offerings that he has selected and if he wishes to remove any of the course offerings from this placement group he can go ahead and delete that particular course offering and now uh, and so his uh, the recipe or the, the set of course offerings that he wishes to manage as a one group will be ready while clicking on save uh, so let's create it. So now he can he can see uh, both the course offerings that have been created in this uh, in this placement group, and he he wishes uh, to manage it as one single group. Uh, I'll move forward. So he, there are a couple of more options that uh, a user can do at this particular page. He can either go ahead and delete this string course if he doesn't wish to manage it this way, or he can go ahead and edit. Uh, and add more courses or you know uh, change the name of the co placement group uh, and and keep it to something else and change the description if he wishes to so uh, once he is ready with the course offerings um, that have been managed as a group now he can go ahead and try to place the students across these uh, course offerings in one go so uh, that can be done by you know clicking on the placement group So a placement group lands the uh, user at the placement screen where it allows the user to, uh, you know, make the placements of the students. But however, before doing that, a user would want to set up, uh, you know, for which particular course offering and across what all rotations the user would want to, you know, place the the students. And so a rotation basically uh, conceptually is a is a set of time blocks that on on which the user or the admin wants to place a particular student for a given course offering and you know uh, a, a rotation could be shared across uh, one or more course offerings uh, that the school is being offered so we, i'll show i'll give a brief demo of how these rotations are added these two rotations were initially created uh, but if you go ahead you you can also choose to add more rotations uh, in this particular uh, in this particular setup page so uh, while while creating a, a rotation, you can go ahead and add the title of the rotation. Let's say it's leadership four. You can choose uh, to select the start date. That's the time block in which this particular placement would happen. And that could, you know, you know, typically um, the programs that we deal with, are, you know, last for uh, the, the rotation lasts for like two weeks to more than three months. Um, uh, and, you know, it can go beyond and could be less than that. But uh, you know, user has a choice to uh, select those uh, start and end dates, and he can go ahead and uh, let's suppose I, I choose it for a month. And then 
uh, he can go ahead and uh, choose uh, additional fields for what uh, he uh, additional details he wants to add. Uh, he since I have entered from a placement group, I will get uh, all the course offerings for which I would want to create this particular time block on which uh, you know placements could be made for the students. So I can go ahead and select those course offerings, and then um, uh, this rotation would be uh, will be ready to be saved. Uh, however, I'll not be creating it uh, because there are a couple of course offerings that are already been set up. So uh, let's let's look at one of the course offerings uh, at this level, and and you can see this uh, course is already set up for this particular course offering. Um, whenever a, a particular course offering is being offered in a rotation, uh, it will be marked as a tick uh, tick mark and a circle, which indicates that this particular course is being offered uh, as a placement in this particular uh, rotation or time block. Uh, I'll, I'll also quickly touch upon uh, one, of, uh, one of a small, one of a minor concept of setting up an advanced schedule. So uh, what this means is, you know, there are many, many use cases wherein uh, an admin would want to uh, either place uh, a student, not for the entire duration of the rotation, but for some time uh, within, uh, within the rotation duration, or it could happen that uh, uh, some of the students are being placed before the start of the rotation or after the start of the rotation and the length of the the, the kind of placement that they do, in, uh, uh, the duration of the placement that they do can vary. So a user has an option to, you know, go ahead and uh, select advanced schedule and set up their dates as well. Um, accordingly, uh, the slots or you know the uh, ask from the sites uh, are created for those particular day so wherein the student can go ahead and do their placement for that particular duration so this is and we can create multiple advanced schedules uh, and uh, basically uh, then uh, on, on those advanced schedules then slots will be offered by the sites and then they can go ahead and place the students on on those particular particular dates as well so this is the concept of rotation, uh, uh, and there are many more than said, but this is the basic rotation that could be uh, set up uh, for a particular, uh, for a given course offering uh, in a given placement group. Uh, so as you can see, this page is particularly uh, holding a placement uh, group, but you know this same thing I can enter into from uh, a given course offering as well. However, then the data uh, will only be for uh, that particular uh, course offering. And then uh, the rotations which are set up will be only be seen for those particular course offerings as well. Um, okay, so uh, once this is done, uh, I'll move to how we can go ahead and make a placement for a particular uh, student. Uh, and so we have basically have uh, three views in which we can go ahead and uh, do placements for the students. Okay, so uh, the first one is the location view. However, uh, so what, what will happen, I'll briefly touch upon it, but we'll go to uh, the student view where the you know, major interest lies for placement. Uh, and uh, so what, what will happen in this, this, this but each row represents uh, you know, a slot group uh, on a, uh, that has been offered by a particular location and for a particular setting. Uh, and uh, you know, user can go ahead and uh, you know, make a placement from here. Uh, and user can also go ahead and edit any placement details that that they wish to change. However, I'll go to the student view and show how the placements are being made from the student view as well. So this student view is a grid where uh, it shows the list of all the students that are registered across various course offerings that are part of this particular placement group. And as you can see, um, in e so the basically the row represents each row represents a student and its placement across various rotations and each column is the rotate uh, is the rotation that takes place across various uh, i mean uh, uh, the placement that takes place across various rotations uh, and uh, now i'll start to to, uh, to show you how you know uh, you know uh, for a particular student you can go ahead and make a placement uh, so let's suppose uh, and we are we are here uh, seeing how you know basically you can place a student uh, directly uh, and i think uh, the nutrition uh, the major use case for nutrition domain is that how you can uh, you know without 
uh, having any slots offered by the slide, you can go ahead and make a direct placement for the particular student. Uh, and so that will be the major use case that I'll be showing. But let's suppose uh, Adam Smith is the student which, for which we have to make uh, a placement across this particular rotation uh, that is leadership two. And uh, we will go ahead and if, if, this, if we have to make a placement uh, across a particular rotation, we can go ahead and click this icon. Uh, and then we can go ahead and make a direct placement from here. Uh, uh, so basically, uh, the thing that shows NA is something that, uh, you know, this particular uh, rotation is not set up for, uh, you know, for this particular course offering for which the student has been registered. And so it will show uh, as NA. But uh, for, for, for whatever course offering is registered and the rotation has been created, there will be a plus sign uh, that will be shown. And then we can go ahead and uh, create a, a direct placement. So while creating a direct placement, uh, this the location the drawer is something that will appear first. And uh, you know uh, the admin will be allowed to select the the um, location at which the, he wishes to place the student, and he can go ahead and choose that particular uh, location. Uh, and it will be a list of all the locations that will appear from uh, which, which have been. You know, created at the site level, and so he can go ahead and uh, either choose, or he may, if there are uh, there are a plenty of locations, he can go ahead and search that particular uh, location on sort on uh, on it as well, and then go ahead and choose that particular location, and then he can go ahead and click on next. Once he does that, um, there are certain details uh, that are pre-filled, and there are certain details that the user can go ahead and additionally add mandatorily that they have to add. Or uh, you know there are certain non-mandatory things that that user can choose to uh, skip while doing a direct placement. Uh, so uh, basically, the mandatory fees are the course offering. So the course offering for which basically the rotation was set up, and then we we came in using the plus button, uh, and then here he here you can see the course offering that has been uh, you know uh, uh, selected. If there were multiple course offerings, there could be a drop down from which the user can select. Uh, and then uh, do, choose to make a direct placement. He can uh, non mandatorily choose the program requirements for which he wishes to make this placement. Right now, there are no program requirements have been set up here, so you will not be able to see, but uh, it comes as a drop down from which he can choose multiple program requirements to uh, basically uh, place the uh, you know, uh, for which he wishes to place the student and complete the program requirements. Uh, then the, the location. Uh, is something that uh, that that was chosen while while we were entering from uh, from the select location uh, uh, drawer, uh, but you know user has an option to select uh, other locations as well. And this is a list which shows all the locations uh, you know uh, that that user can uh, choose from, uh, and he can also go ahead and search it. Uh, and then there comes the setting. So let's suppose um, so user goes and chooses. Uh, uh, that he wants to place a student for this particular course offering and this particular setting, he can go ahead and choose uh, a single setting from the drop down, and then he can uh, he can wish to change uh, the placement start dates and end dates. So uh, these placement start dates and end dates are inherited, inherited from the rotation that has been created, but use it's uh, uh, you know user has a choice to go ahead and change the placement start dates and end dates for for that particular. Uh, student. So uh, these uh, start date and end date uh, I have customized for this particular student. Uh, then user can go ahead and non mandatory choose the preceptor who is you know going to precept the particular student at this location. Uh, the placement faculty who will be uh, if if any who will be accompanying the student uh, for doing the their placements. Then he can go ahead and choose whatever site location contacts uh, are there uh, who. Uh, the student or the admin can contact for this particular placement. And then additionally, uh, user can uh, add placement notes uh, e either to be shared with students or they can, that can be shared in the internal use only. Uh, apart from that, uh, we, he starts with us on track status, uh, where you know uh, once he's making a placement, the placement could be on track. However, if uh, you know uh, because of some reason uh, the student is unable to complete the placement. Or uh, has to leave it midway, then the user can choose to, uh, you know, set the status as on hold or unsuccessful. Uh, once this is done, everything is set up. Uh, the user can go ahead and uh, place the student, and uh, it will start appearing in the 
student grid in the student view location. Okay, I have to refresh this. Okay, so I placed Adam Smith at the Ability Center with the setting of child nutrition and all the details once you uh, you know hover up on this particular uh, placement it will be shown as in what is the placement start date for what course offering this particular placement is being offered and where is the address where the student will go and attend the their placement uh, this uh, is in line with uh, the location view as well so if a student is placed here uh, for this particular um, you know settings it will also be automatically synchronized with the location view as well so yeah uh if you can see uh i have uh it has automatically created um you know for adam smith it has created at the ability center uh what will be the the placement dates and and where where the student is going to attend its his, his or her placement apart from that uh once the student has been placed all the uh, reports that the admin would want to see as in what is the you know uh, placement uh, what, how does the placement of the student look like uh, where is he going um, what are the site location nodes or any attestation for the students or requirements of the requirements anything um, for all the placements that have been made under this placement group can be uh, can be seen in real time as in when the placements are made as a as a report and it can be it, it, it will be shown under the list view uh, of the placement section and this it will uh, it will contain all the students that have been placed for all the course offerings across different rotations and it will have the information of the students uh, who, who has been placed all the student details name uh, location uh, the location uh, details where the student is going to attend the placement the settings on which the student is going to do the placement uh, the course offerings for which she has to do, as well as all the site location contacts and details, uh, uh, including placement status, as well as the pay, uh, whether the placement has been published to the student or not. So uh, this is the list view uh, that that has been uh, created, uh, where user or the admin can see the real time report as and when he makes or deletes or updates the placement. Uh, so this is a small. Uh, overview of how you know placement and especially direct placement can be done uh, by uh, by an admin in exact prism uh, how he can go ahead and create a placement group how he can go ahead and set up rotations and how he can make a placement i'll pause for a while to take any questions if there are any No questions, Aditya. I think you can move on. Sure. Okay. So the next section, uh, and so uh, this has been captured and will be uh, this will be all these uh, the methods and the workflows uh, in which the admin can make a placement. RBA has been captured in this PPT. Uh, the user can go ahead and and you know uh, follow this PPT and will be able to successfully place a student in exact place. Uh, and this is the part one where we have shown what is the capability of the product currently. But uh, now what I will be doing is uh, showing uh, the next set of the, the, the next feature that we are developing uh, as part of ask from many of the nutrition uh, programs across different schools. And so uh, this is called, uh, you know, how we can allow the students uh, to be placed uh, placed for a particular site uh, but you know their placement dates are not uh, like they are not doing the placements in the entire stretch of the placement duration but at particular certain dates uh, where they have to you know uh, where the admin has to still select those certain dates or days of the week where the student can go and do their placement at the site and uh, this particular information also needs to be intimated to the sites where these students are going to uh you know do their placements and accordingly what happens is the admin shares the you know calendar uh basically in a pdf format of all the students who will be you know attending the placements at the site 
at various uh, dates or days of the week and you know uh, the site could basically take a printout and put it on the notice board and keep a track of uh, who which student is going to come when so this is something that that is under development and you know will be a part of uh, one of the release very soon and so i'll i'll go ahead and explain what we are trying to uh, you know do with this particular feature so as 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 i was showing you the placement drawer um, which had all the you know information that is required to place a student uh, we will additionally be introducing one of the one of a bit which uh, which is called the setting up of non consecutive dates uh, you know this bit by default will be set to off because many schools uh, would generally want to place a student for the entire length but the students uh, but the school if you they wish to only place a student for certain dates or days of the week they can go ahead and uh, look, uh, set this bit on and once this bit is on uh, uh, this particular bit is on uh, you know there will be a calendar drop down that will be appearing uh, in this particular calendar drop down uh, calendar control basically the admin can go ahead and select the dates which also marks the days of the week uh, at which the student will go and attend the placement at the sites at the, or at the location uh, and and once these dates are selected and user moves uh, the moves out of the control uh, all the dates will be filled in the non consecutive date um, field and it can it will be shown uh, here uh, as as shown in the screen and once this particular all these dates are set user can go ahead and save the placement uh, and what will happen accordingly so there will be a location also for which these particular dates are set so accordingly what will happen uh, is um, there will be a report under the report sections of the placement uh, module where a user will now be able to see a calendar by location uh, report which the user once clicks the, he will be able to see all the uh, basically for that particular student all the non consecutive dates at which the placements are made and uh, you know they he can be able to download the pdf of those calendars and then they can go ahead and send it out as an email the site admins so uh, yeah so as as i was saying uh, it will be under the report section and of the placement module and this will be the particular calendar uh, calendar report that will be uh, coming with a description and once the user clicks here uh, you know by default uh, the early rotation will be selected um, and then the user can go ahead and select um, select the location uh, for which uh, he wishes to see all the students who have been placed uh, and have non consecutive dates of placement and once he selects let's say a particular location uh, and saves uh, saves it user can see this particular calendar view which will show him uh, who are all the students that are going on which dates uh, for uh, for the for a particular month uh, at which at, at at this particular location called Pamela Hill, uh, and then uh, user can also click on. So it will be a uniform view, uh, and it will uh, basically uh, show uh, like three to four students up front, and then user can also go ahead and click on the chip uh, to see additional students who are placed uh, in this location uh, for this particular date. So uh, this is uh, primarily will, will be a calendar view that will be coming out uh, soon. And once uh, you know user is satisfied with the placements uh, that he is seeing in the calendar and for this particular rotation, uh, what he can do is basically click on this uh, download button, and it will go ahead and download a PDF basically. Uh, and let's suppose this rotation for was for three months. Uh, so at the upfront, he can only see one uh, uh, month at a time. However, he will get an option to scroll left, right, and see all the uh, all the calendar views of all the months wherein uh, students have, have been placed. Uh, however, uh, once he clicks on the download button for this particular rotation, which he, the user has selected and for this particular location, for all the months, uh, uh, whatever placements have been made across different dates will start appearing. Let's say this was a three month rotation. So he will be seeing uh, the calendar uh, of the place students across all the all three or uh, all the two couple of months i think this the, the rotation was for a couple of months so he will be able to see for uh, for a couple of months uh, and uh, this pdf once downloaded uh, user can go ahead and attach as an email to the site admins and then they can go ahead and use this email paste it on the notice 
uh, download the PDF, paste it on their notice board, and then they will be aware and be tracking who all that the students that will be coming on uh, different dates uh, to attend the placements. Okay, so this is one of the features that we are uh, developing, and I believe that this is one of the important features that nutrition programs might be using. Uh, however, uh, if there are any attendees here, uh, we would like to have ask certain questions to them, and uh, we will take it forward. Uh, if not, we can, you know, we will see how we can move forward. So, Kanti, let me know. Thank you, Aditya. Um, I don't see any questions here. Um, so, if there are any questions, they can always, uh, like, you know, reach us out and we can always um, work with them on the features to add for the nutrition programs but uh, thank you for the presentation aditya okay? Yeah. okay and that brings us to the end of this webinar um if you have few minutes we would love to hear from you so at the end of this webinar there will be a short survey and you can fill the survey and let us know how we are doing and what can be improved and if there are any additional topics you would like us to cover in future okay you can also uh, get in touch with your account manager or customer success representatives um, if you want to see um, any new features added to prism we would uh, we would be happy to help you with that okay with that we are at the end of this webinar have a great rest of your day and thank you everyone for joining thank you yeah, thank you